This is the Elephant Abstractions pattern. If we look right here, we can see Elephant Abstractions by Violet Craft. This is template number six. Um, I am going to be demonstrating how I foundation paper piece. So this is the Violet Craft foundation paper piecing style and how I know if the fabric is going to be big enough to fit into the location it's going. So the very first one we're looking at here is A, 6A. This is the very first fabric that we are going to piece, okay? The, um, we don't even have to actually piece this. <coughs> we just need a piece of fabric that is big enough that it's gonna cover that area. So what we're gonna do is just lay this template right onto this. I mean, this is a huge piece of fabric. It does not need to be this big. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut it down just so it's out of our way. I am using random scraps from my Buffalo Flats collection, which will make an interesting elephant trunk. <laughs> So the very first piece, all you need to do, I still love to use these duck double-sided sticky tapes um, to hold it in place. They are very hard to find now. I'm trying to work on a replacement. Don't have it yet, but you can also just stick a pin in here. Let me see if I can get that to go through there. There we go. You don't want it to be near anything else that you're about to cut or have to work with because see how it warps the fabric? Like the whole thing is warped and that's why I don't really like to use pins. So I like to use a sticky tape, but technically piece A is done. It is wrong sides together, wrong side of fabric to wrong side of template, print side facing down, template facing up because this is in, the first piece is in its final home. So the next piece that we go to add on is going to be B right here. So we are going to fold on the line in between the piece we're adding to the piece that we already have on. So I'm using an add a quarter plus ruler. It's got that fine edge that gives you a nice crisp fold. And then this has a quarter of an inch lip right here. So you just go on and we're gonna cut all of this away. map a little bit there. This is just a scrap we put to the side and use for later. Okay, so this is our seam allowance, our quarter of an inch seam allowance bigger than our piece. And the next piece that we're adding on, B, right here, which is these little circles, I'm going to use this strip of bees and sunflowers. I'm going to cut a piece that's just plenty, plenty big enough that it will fit this piece right here with coverage, right? When it's folded over, we're gonna go right sides together. And we're just making sure that we have a much large enough piece right sides together lined up, we move it to our machine. Let me get you moved. There we go. So we're right sides together still with our seam allowances lined up. We're gonna open our template and we're gonna sew. I like to back stitch in the seam allowance. a quarter of an inch all the way through okay we've gone right on our line and what we're, we're looking at is that that piece goes all the way out here so that you're getting this edge and is much longer than right there okay then we open it up back to our mat open So now our B piece is done. Next, we would move over to C, 
fold on this line. Trim off our seam allowance. And now we need a strip that's at least this big, which this one's huge. Nice big piece of fabric. Okay, we're gonna go right sides together, matching our seam allowance. And again, what we're looking at is that this piece right here has enough fabric underneath it. So that's our point. We wanna make sure we've got it all the way out there. And this one, this piece ends right here. So we need at least a quarter of an inch more and we have like inches more. So we're completely covered. Move to our mats, or sorry, to our machine. See how I leave everything together? This is why I'm not pinning, because I'm holding it all. I've got my hands firmly holding everything in place. I roll that template underneath. My stitch length on this machine is set at about 1.4. open. This isn't sewn down because it's not a part of where we needed to be. So we get that rolled out because right now when we flip over and we go to put D on, here's our D, right? We're going to lay are at a quarter down on that line, fold it back, and these stitches that you've sewn through your seam allowances, you're just gonna rip those right out of the paper, okay? And give it a nice firm crease. Trim your seam allowance. Move these scraps out of the way. And now we'll add our D piece, <coughs> excuse me, which is another one of these pieces. I'm just gonna cut it about yay big. Right sides together. Making sure that where we're at here, that our fabric extends at least to there on either side. It does. It does. So again, smooth it out. Underneath, move it to our machine. And bouncy table so you get a nice bouncy view <laughs> and now we'll open it 